Let me ask you a question. If one or two people by themselves are able to create something like this using Sony PlayStation's Dreams, what do you imagine a full development studio using those same tools would be able to do? Dreams was designed to allow creators to easily share assets, sounds and scenes so that other creators can pick them up to use or transform however they wish. Because of this, so many of the finished creations in Dreams are a collaborative effort, but the type of collaboration we're talking about today goes one step further. Creators from all around the world coming together within Dreams with a unified purpose to make a project together. In other words, form a development studio. Meet each other and create a band of uh, you know, teams uh, on the internet and uh, uh, create something really great for other people to enjoy. Now, this has always been one of the long-term goals PlayStation has had for Dreams. We've just finished DreamsCon, which is an annual event where creators show off their upcoming projects, and now more than ever we're seeing these calls for collaboration. More and more of these development studios are being set up as it becomes clear the more ambitious your project is, the higher you want the final quality to be, the more help you're going to need. Unfortunately, forming one of these studios is not as simple as merely shouting, Yo, anyone want to collaborate? We decided to find out exactly what goes into setting up one of these studios and get some quick tips for creators to consider. Luckily, we've recently had the opportunity to interview Michael, the man behind Cyber Sheep Studios, creators of the incredibly impressive Noguchi's Bell, a 15 episode animated series which is soon to hit Kickstarter. And if anyone knows anything about setting up a development studio in Dreams, it's him. Michael didn't buy Dreams with the intention of setting up a studio. He was a fan of Little Big Planet and had always been creating short films and games alone. But as his ideas became more ambitious, it became apparent he couldn't realise them by himself. Thus, Cyber Sheep Films was born. The first thing you need to do is find a team of like-minded individuals. There are a number of places you can look, like the Dream subreddit, Twitter, the Discord group, Media Molecules forum, hell even Dreams itself. But beware, these places are littered with these sorts of advertisements, but so many of them don't seem to have that much thought put into them. And let me tell you, that can be very off-putting. This sort of advertisement isn't something Michael recommends. Instead, he encourages creators to approach specific people in the community they want to work with. Michael suggests scouting for talent by looking through Dreams creations, Twitter posts, and so on. Michael started with Antoine, also known as Hack Jazz, a pianist and composer who performs in the band Delta T. Now, Michael and Antoine already knew each other from a previous project. Together, they encouraged more people into the team by showing off samples of their work. This is something Michael really recommends. People are more likely to get on board when they can see the talents you have to offer and can prove you're able to complete a project. After all, you need to give people a reason to want to join your team. Once you have a few people, Michael recommends trusting their recommendations in order to grow and find people who are both talented and easy to work with. The number of well-known Dreams creators who are involved with Noguchi's Bell trailer alone is phenomenal. Bad Robo with his crazy talent for visual effects, Martin Neblong, the lighting master, Cole Witzer, the man behind the super expressive faces, Sophie Thomas with her incredible talent for characters, Ian Henderson known for his stunning vistas, Lee James Milner with his distinct art style, Bivson, Keldby Jones, Haku's Mind, The Other Lucas, Arsene 3D, SSG Soul, Tap Giles, the list goes on and on and on. The great thing about a team like this is everyone has their own strength. Michael admits he's not very good at sculpting, so what he's done is surround himself with people to counter his weaknesses. I don't recommend jumping straight into a massive project with a brand new team. 
First things first, you need to see if you can all effectively work together. On paper, your team could be perfect, but in practice, you can very quickly run into trouble. We recommend starting small. Try and work up from a trailer, to a demo, to a short dream, and then if all goes well, make your way to the full game or production. This lets you trial the team dynamic. You can figure out what works well and address any problems that may have arisen, such as creative differences. Unfortunately for Michael, this took some time to learn. He now understands negative discourse is less likely if you're recruiting people with the same vision and right attitudes to begin with. You need to be sure you are working towards the same goal, and that way any creative differences will encourage productive discussion rather than what could be awkward conversations or even arguments. A small piece of polished work can then be used for further recruitment and to stop promoting your project. Before you know it, your project and studio can be in full swing. At this point, managing the workload becomes key. As the leader of Cyber Sheep Films, part of Michael's role is to structure the work and help motivate the team. You've got to give the other people in your team consideration. You may have teammates in different time zones. They might be working on other stuff. There could also be other things going on in their lives. There isn't a one-size-fits-all approach we can advise. A regular meeting, for example, sounds like a good idea. But for some members of your team, this could take them out of their comfort zone or be hard to organize around their lives. Any group of people working together is going to require some degree of organization. Michael advises without strict deadlines, people are also at risk of losing motivation and becoming bored. But on the other hand, when it comes to people volunteering their time, you can't put too much pressure on them as this could take the fun out of it. One thing to consider, maybe you don't have to settle for people volunteering their time. We've recently talked in detail about how contrary to popular belief, it is possible to monetize your dreams creations. We talk about what the application looks like, the sorts of content you can sell, and what the future of the dreams platform might look like. If you are serious about setting up a development studio in dreams, and you'd like to get paid for your efforts, I definitely recommend giving that video a watch. Michael has decided to take some time away from his commercial job to work on Noguchi's Bell and the upcoming Kickstarter. It's his ambition to one day turn Cyber Sheep Film into a professional studio that's able to pay its team. It's an incredibly lofty goal and we wish Michael and the rest of Cyber Sheep Film all the luck in the world. From everything we've seen so far in Dreams, we think Noguchi's Bell has the best shot of becoming something truly big and it's specifically because of the power of collaboration. At Ugly Sofa Gaming, we are planning on personally contributing to the Kickstarter when it launches, and we encourage anyone else watching who is able to check it out and consider doing the same as well. For now, we'll leave you with the Noguchi Spell Series trailer to enjoy. Body, this is a uh, face ball. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 